A study from the University of Texas Health Science Center found that omega-3 supplementation was associated with improved brain structure and cognitive function in middle-aged adults, potentially even lowering the risk of Alzheimer's disease. While omega-3s are beneficial, there are several misconceptions about these essential fats. Myth number one is that you can get enough omega-3s from plant sources alone. While plant sources of ALA are beneficial, they're not as effective as DHA and EPA from marine sources. Myth number two, all omega supplements are the same. Not all omega supplements are created equal, guys. It's essential to choose high quality supplements that provide adequate amounts of DHA and EPA, and you need to check the label for the total omega-3 content and the ratio of DHA to EPA. And myth number three is that... Hey guys, welcome back to the Ultimate Human Podcast. Today, we're diving into a fascinating topic that's not only essential for overall health, but also critical for your brain's performance and longevity, omega-3 fatty acids and their role in brain health. These essential fatty acids are vital for supporting cognitive function, and today, we'll explore why they're so important, backed by the latest scientific research. We'll also provide you with an actionable advice step on how to incorporate more omega-3s into your diet. Omega-3 fatty acids are a group of polyunsaturated fats that are crucial for various bodily functions, particularly brain health. There are three main types of omega-3s, and they are tongue twisters. There's ALA, which is alpha-linoleic acid, EPA, which is eicosapentaenoic acid, and DHA, which is docosahexaenoic acid. Among these, DHA is most important for the brain. DHA makes up about 97% of the omega-3 fatty acids in the brain and it is essential for maintaining the structure and function of cell membranes. Research has shown that omega-3 fatty acids play a significant role in cognitive function and mental health. A study published in the Journal of Frontiers in Aging and Neuroscience found that higher blood levels of omega-3s were associated with larger brain volumes in older adults, which is a marker for brain health and a lower risk of cognitive decline. So why are omega-3s so beneficial for the brain? Let's break it down. Omega-3s, particularly DHA, are vital for brain development in infants and in children. They're critical for the formation of neuronal cell membranes, synaptic function, and neurogenesis, which is new nerve growth. Studies have shown that adequate omega-3 intake during pregnancy and early childhood is associated with better cognitive outcomes in children, including improved learning abilities and behavior. For adults, omega-3s help maintain brain structure and function. They're involved in the production of neurotransmitters, the generation of all mood and emotion, which are chemicals that facilitate the communication between neurons. This means omega-3s can influence mood, memory, and overall cognitive function. A study published in the American Journal of Cl Clinical Nutrition found that adults with higher DHA levels performed better on cognitive tests and had lower risks of dementia. Omega-3 also plays a crucial role in mental health. They have anti-inflammatory processes that can help reduce the risk of depression and reduce the risk of anxiety. Inflammation in the brain is linked to a variety of mental health disorders, and omega-3s can help mitigate this. According to a study in the Journal of Clinical Psychiatry, omega-3 supplements were effective in reducing symptoms of major depressive disorder, particularly in individuals with high levels of inflammation. Additionally, omega-3s can help manage stress and improve mood. The Harvard Health blog reports that people that consume higher levels of omega-3 are less likely to experience mood swings and depression. So if that's not a good enough excuse to take omega-3s, how about another critical role of omega-3s is in neuroprotection. They help protect the brain from damage that's caused by oxidative stress and inflammation. This is particularly important as we age because these processes contribute to neurodegenerative diseases like Alzheimer's and Parkinson's. A study from the University of Texas Health Science Center found that omega-3 supplementation was associated with improved brain structure and cognitive function in middle-aged adults, potentially even lowering the risk of Alzheimer's disease. So as we get older, our brain naturally undergoes changes that can affect cognitive function. However, research indicates that omega-3 fatty acids can slow down age-related cognitive decline and all kinds of other mental conditions. According to a published study in the Journal of Neurology, higher levels of omega-3s were linked to better memory and cognitive function in older adults. 
The study found that individuals with higher blood levels of omega-3 had larger brain volumes in the critical areas for memory and cognitive function. Beyond depression, omega-3s have been studied for their potential effects in other mental health disorders. So for instance, a meta-analysis that was published in the Translational Psychiatry Journal found that omega-3 supplements could reduce symptoms of anxiety. The study suggested that EPA in particular might be effective in reducing anxiety symptoms. Furthermore, omega-3s have been explored as an adjunct treatment for bipolar disorder and even schizophrenia. There's research published in the Journal of Clinical Psychiatry that indicates that omega-3 supplementation can help stabilize mood and reduce the severity of symptoms in individuals with bipolar disorder. Similarly, a study in schizophrenia research found that omega-3s could improve cognitive function and reduce the severity of symptoms in people with schizophrenia. Now that we understand the importance of omega-3s for brain health, let's talk about how you can incorporate more of these fatty acids into your diet. Number one, eat fatty fish. Fatty fish like salmon, mackerel, and sardines, and trout are among the best sources of DHA and EPA. Aim to eat at least two servings of fatty fish per week. If you're not a fan of fish, you can also get your omega-3s from fish oil supplements, but make sure that you choose a high-quality supplement that has been tested for heavy metals. For those following a vegan or vegetarian diet, include plant-based sources of ALA, such as flax seeds, chia seeds, walnuts, and hemp seeds. While ALA tends to be converted into DHA and EPA in the body, these foods are still very beneficial for you. So consider supplementation. If you find it challenging to get enough omega-3s from food alone, consider taking a high-quality omega-3 supplement. Look for a supplement that contains both DHA and EPA for the best results. Algal oil supplements are a good option for vegetarians and vegans, and they are derived from algae, which is the primary source of DHA and EPA in fish. So balance omega-6 intake. It's also important to balance your omega-3 fatty acid intake with your omega-6 fatty acids. While omega-6 are essential, the typical Western diet tends to have a much higher ratio of omega-6 to omega-3, which can actually lead to inflammation. So try to reduce your intake of processed foods and oils high in omega-6, such as corn oil, soybean oil, and other seed oils to help balance this ratio. You've gotta read your labels, guys. So when you're choosing food products, Read labels to identify sources of omega-3s. Many products like eggs, milk, and bread are now fortified with omega-3 fatty acids. Incorporating the threes into your daily life doesn't have to be challenging. So here's some practical tips and tricks to help you get started. Number one, you can start your day with omega-3s. Add a tablespoon of ground flax seeds or chia seed to your morning smoothie, your oatmeal, or your yogurt. Um, these seeds are rich in ALA and can easily boost your omega-3 fatty acid intake. And snack smart. Keep a stash of walnuts at your desk in a bag for quick and nutritious snack. Walnuts are great sources of ALA and can be easily incorporated into your diet. Number three, omega-3 rich meals. Remember to plan your meals according to fatty fish intake like salmon or sardines at least twice a week. You can grill, bake, or broil the fish to preserve its omega-3 content. Number four, use omega-3 oils. Use oils that are rich in omega-3s, such as flaxseed oil or walnut oil in your salad dressings, or drizzle them over cooked vegetables. These oils are not suitable for high heat cooking because they denature at high temperatures, but they're perfect for cold dishes. And number five, fortified foods. Look for foods that are fortified with omega-3s. Not fortified or enriched with folic acid, but fortified with omega-3s. Many brands offer omega-3 enriched eggs, milk, and bread, which can help increase your intake without changing your diet drastically. Remember, look at the label and discern between fortified with omega-3s and fortified with folic acid, which I am not a fan of. While omega-3s are beneficial, there are several myths and misconceptions about these essential fats. So let's address a few of them. Myth number one, and probably the biggest myth, is that you can get enough omega-3s from plant sources alone. While plant sources of ALA are beneficial, they're not as effective as DHA and EPA from marine sources. The conversion rate of ALA to DHA and EPA in the body is quite low. Therefore, it's important to include marine sources of omega-3s or supplements in your diet. Myth number two, all omega supplements are the same. 
Not all omega supplements are created equal, guys. It's essential to choose high-quality supplements that provide adequate amounts of DHA and EPA, and you need to check the label for the total omega-3 content and the ratio of DHA to EPA. And myth number three is that omega-3 supplements can replace a healthy diet. Supplements can help you meet your omega-3 needs, but they should not replace a balanced and varied diet. Whole foods provide a range of nutrients that work synergistically to support your health. Guys, incorporating omega-3s into your diet is just one piece of the puzzle for maintaining optimal brain health. So a few more additional lifestyle tips that could support cognitive function would be the following. Number one, probably the most important is stay physically active. Regular physical exercise is crucial for brain health. We know that sedentary lifestyle is the leading cause of all-cause mortality. So aim for 30 minutes of exercise at least three to five days a week. Physical activity increases blood flow to the brain. It supports neurogenesis, which is new neuronal growth, and reduces the risk of cognitive decline. Probably of all of the studies done across all of the clinical trials, exercise has the greatest impact on mental health. Number two, engage in mental activities. Keep your brain active by engaging in mentally stimulating activities, not just being on your phone, but things like reading, puzzles, and learning new skills. Doing tasks that you don't like to do that you find difficult is actually really good for your brain. These activities can build cognitive function, they build cognitive reserve, and they protect against age-related cognitive decline. Number three, and this is a big one, manage stress. Chronic stress can have a negative impact on brain health. Practice stress management techniques such as mindfulness, meditation, yoga, deep breathing exercises, and learn to reduce stress when you feel it coming on at the time that you feel it the most. And the last one, get quality sleep. Adequate sleep is absolutely essential for brain and cognitive function. Aim for seven to nine hours of quality sleep each night and establish a regular sleep routine and create a sleep-friendly environment to improve sleep quality. My five big tips for sleep are darken your room, cool your room off, do a contrast shower before you get in bed, learn to do a breathing exercise while you're in bed, unplug your electronics six feet from your head and stay off of your phone while you're in bed at night. And finally, socialize. Staying socially active can support brain health. Engaging in social activities can maintain strong relationships and you can seek out social interactions to boost cognitive function and emotional well-being. To sum it up, omega-3 fatty acids play a very crucial role in brain health. They support cognitive function, mental health, and neuroprotection. So by incorporating more omega-3s into your diet through fatty fish, plant-based sources, and supplements, you can enhance your brain health and your overall well-being. Remember to balance your omega-3 fatty acid intake with omega-6 fatty acids and make small sustainable changes to your lifestyle for long-term benefits. Thank you guys for joining me today on the Ultimate Human Podcast. We've explored the incredible role of omega-3 fatty acids in brain health and how you can harness their benefits to support cognitive function and mental well-being. And remember, it's about making informed choices and taking small steps towards a healthier lifestyle. If you enjoyed this episode, don't forget to subscribe and leave a review, share it with your friends. And until next time, remember, it's just science.